Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to SivTech. Today we are back on here doing some awesome stuff. But you know what? Last episode we did that, which was uh, a lot of work. But um, I'm not sure what we were doing. Like, what are we doing? See? What are we doing? Literally. Uh, getting started in the mechanical part will require a source such as bitter mods. And we could get the waterfall, the, the water wheel, sorry. Waterfall, what am I talking about? Guys, I've lost it already. It's the beginning of the episode, no idea what I'm talking about. The water wheel, um, and I presume that needs uh, falling water. What is this? Probably just left dirt over here. Um, it, it requires falling water, I presume. And we have no way to pick up like water sources and move them yet. We can move stuff. I mean, we could put it underground, I guess. Get this water to fall into it, but I mean... Come on guys, that's not right. So anyways, we made this, but the next step was the water wheel. Yes, and the only way to get that is through the saw, which is why we went uh, through all that hoopla to get this up here. So, what we're going to do guys is, uh, obviously that is miles in the sky. I think I'm going to take that down, move it down a bit, and yeah, let's, um, maybe, maybe we build like a, a windmill or something today. Maybe. Let's see what happens. Alrighty guys, here we are looking over our base. We have the windmill set up here and the saw making a whole bunch of noise. But I think we just click on top and yes, okay, that saws it up. That is that is nice and quick. Okay, good, very good. What we're gonna do is get this stuff. Is that on top? Yes. Keep doing this. Oh, this isn't bad. You just hold down uh, right click. And there we go, we got a whole bunch of stuff. Now, there is uh, no real way up here, so I might just make a little path down. And let's see what we can do with this mulberry bark real quick. Um, we need to make the parchment, that's what we're actually doing this all for. So, yeah, let's, uh, we'll get cracking on with that. And let's just quickly check what else. Let's make a little path out of leaves here, that'll be helpful. Um, it's hard to see where the leaves come to. Where the leaves? right there let's make another little path just down to here and there we go that's how we get up that's that's our makeshift path for now for the windmill we uh we could get the water water wheel at some stage it looks like you only need a little bit of flowing water so we could just dig a little tunnel down there and it would work but for now i actually quite like this and yeah it's look, looking pretty good up there oh there's some stuff stuck on the front there that's annoying we need to get that come on all right we got it um, let's just quickly check in here. No, wrong one. Um, yeah, so water wheel is next. And then a uh, gearbox by the looks of it. So we need to get parchment, which I have looked up just before. There we go. Um, parchment, like this. And then we need the sheets, which are for... Oh, my goodness. We're going to dry these. Yes, I need these ones. And we need the water and the mulberry bark. Okay, so that's what we need to do to get these. So let's let's get on with that. Alrighty guys, now we have some right here, mulberry oh, pulp. Now what do we do? Parchment, what is the We need four of those to make one of those. Those Ishi. Yeah, okay. So we still got a few steps to go guys. It goes into that, and then we need four of those to make uh, this stuff which goes into that okay so we just go like this is that correct okay and then that squashes down in the horsey press over here horse friend i put you do a good job and squash that all the way down for me good boy all right oh okay a zombie just out of nowhere fine just deal with this guy see you later honk oh don't hit the horse oh thank you for that bit of armor. Mine's uh, probably running low. There we go. We top it up. Awesome, guys. Okay. So, yeah, this is a, a long process. We're just going to let this all dry out. I've got a few more pieces in here. So, this should be enough to make one piece of parchment. And then, uh, yeah, we'll use that for, for something. I don't really know what. What is it for? Uh, to be, uh, keep records of my knowledge on parchment. It requires the bark for the mulberry trees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then... Access to the knowledge of the stars by crafting the Astral Sorcery Journal. Uh, da -da, da -da, da -da. Okay, okay, cool. Interesting. All right, so why don't we get on with the water wheel as well. Let's see what's going on there. Shall we have a quick look in here? Water wheel. 
that it there? No. Right there. Right in front of my face. Okay, so we need a copper gear and we need a wood blade. Wood, glue, slime ball. Okay. Um, I'm gonna figure out how to get these. I can get the, the blood. I know how to well I've done that before. Oh, I'm gonna need a lot of these. Glue, rabbit hide. We can just smelt any of these hides by the looks of it to get glue. Okay, very simple. Gonna do it. Alrighty guys, time to make parchment. We go here, 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 here. And the aquamarine in the middle and parchment. Let's go. Awesome, awesome. Something to write on. Right, okay. Then we need to make this. Access the knowledge of the stars by crafting astral sorcery journal. That can't be too difficult, can it guys? I bet it's really difficult. I bet it's really super difficult. Astral. There we go. Right. Those, we need plant cloth and we need a bit of parchment. Okay. How do we make that? Those. Okay, that's easy. We can make all of those and we have some of that. Okay. So we need three of these. Three. We need lots of the plant twine stuff, which could be absolutely anywhere, you know? Absolutely anywhere. Right, what do we do with this? Oh, it's, uh, up the whole thing, don't we? You know what, guys? I've forgotten all the little recipes. What is it? Let's find out. Uh, we can make it out of any of these. This, which is three. Okay, that'll be why. Three, just to confuse me. Oh, I need one more. I think it was just like this, guys. Is this it? Yes, it is. And there we go. That was actually really easy. Here we go. Another one. This is going to my diary. That's for damn sure. Okay. Now. Now what do we do? Do we open this thing? Let's have a look. Discovery. Knowledge. Oh, we don't want to move the stars. We want to stay right there. Right, hover over one of the clusters and zoom in using the scroll wheel or W and S. Okay. Okay, we've, we've zoomed in, guys. Whoa. Where do we start? Luminous crafting table. That sounds interesting. So this is like the little manual here. That's really cool. So if we click on this, it'll tell us all about it. That's a lot of reading though. Let's be real. Uh, using a regular crafting table to interact with the starlight emitted by shrine crystals. Okay, yeah, so we've got a lot of reading to do here, guys. Let's say another mod here. But uh, that's all right for now. Zoom out. Go quite far out. But this is where everything is, right here. Book is a little weird, but... You know, that's alright, we got it. Okay, let's add that to our bookshelf thing over here for now. And what is else is going on? So, the water wheel. I think I'm going to crack on with that. I've got some glue brewing over here. I need eight of those. I've got three. Well, I've got four, actually. Okay, cool. So we only need four more. Let's dump a whole lot of this stuff off in the chest and carry on. Alrighty, guys. We have some slime balls, so I just need to craft up a bunch of these. Hopefully that's enough these four of those and blue as well All right there we go now we should have this no we don't have the copper gear yet okay let me remember how to do this wooden gear oh we need one more bit of glue of course we do i could have used the slime ball instead of the glue oh man okay let's um let's get some more of the stuff going it takes so long in this cauldron too like it's not even moved yet there we go tiny little bit of movement down there and then it'll pop up right now there you go so slow horrendous but anyways, we'll get there. So we just need that one bit of glue there for to start off the copper gear. And then we will need sandstone. Do we have any sandstone? I, I don't know if we do. Sandstone. Can we use cobblestone? Or is it just is it purely just sand variants? Yeah, that's annoying, guys. Okay, well, let's let's have a quick look. What do we got around here? Alrighty guys, crafting simulator 3000. We can make this gear now, I'm pretty sure. We do that. Do this again. Stone one, and then we get the copper one like so. Alright, now we should be able to build this awesomeness. Okay, here we go. Another achievement, guys. What are we doing? What are we doing, guys? We are going down here, and we're going to dig a little hole and see if we can get this working. Um, I think we need another one of those wooden uh axle things so let's go axle really quick oh that's not how you spell it it's like that isn't it guys yes i, sh I should learn okay so we need the black quartz two sticks and hemp rope 
should have enough hemp floating around somewhere. To get this, I usually have to put it in the middle stuff. The hemp stuff, yeah, but that'll give us three. Um, so we need four pieces of hemp. Okay, that's good. We got a bunch of it growing down here now. I'll show you guys my little farm. I'm not sure I have for a while. Whoa, everything's growing up. We got some rice going on here as well. Um, I'm just going to leave all this for now, but we've got a decent amount of food and things going on now. Uh, so that's that's two bits and then that. That's all we need. We actually get... No, we... we uh, how do we get any of that? Drop it on there. Yep. And this one. There we go. Okay, cool. Let's carry on. we got a lot of hemp growing down here now. Okay, guys. Just along from our farm over here, we have our little crop of sugarcane. What I'm going to do is make this water flow in here, and I think that's enough to make this water wheel spin. So if we just... Keep this out a little. Actually, we do not want to take out that bottom layer. We do not want to take it. Right, so if we just put that here, and we can put this in here, and in the water wheel on here. Five times five, okay. Shell. Oh, wait, no. This this has got to. Yes, no, wrong place. We need to clear out this space right here. And. And this thing counts. That might be five times five. I just do that for now. We need to put this here. Now we can put this uh, the the axle on the end here. Just jump across here. Put that on there. That might be the five times five. Now, no, we got one two this way. We got one two that way. So that's five. Why? Why would that not be good enough? I'm confused. Oh, maybe we need to dig down a bit. Okay, so this needs to come up a block. Yes, that's the one. We take you off. I need to know what five times five means, you know, guys. What I need to do. Oh no. Okay, so that should be that looks like flying water to me, so oh, it looks frozen actually. Why is it not moving? Because I took these out. I'm gonna put these back in there. Wow, those plants just miraculously grew back. Okay. Let's see what happens if we put it up here. Water wheel. There we go, guys. Is it spinning? And it's spinning. The opposite way to which the water... No, no, that's right. I was going to say. No, it's going the right way. Okay, cool. So then if we put the saw here, it would power it. Awesome, guys. Awesome. That is what we wanted. Okay, cool. So we can use that for mechanical power as well as the windmill so if we want to move that saw down here we can but uh for now we'll just leave it uh what is next we need a gearbox and we also need this crafting table from up here so what are we going to work on i think i'm going to stick with this for today i don't want to get into too many more mods because i'm getting confused enough as it is so let's um see what the gearbox does allows you to extend the reach of your mechanical power shift right click aside to move the input outputs a powered axle must go into the side with a cross on it okay i see let's see what does a gearbox require guys a bit a whole lot of things so broken wooden gearbox and clutch box no i guess we want this one okay so we need two bronze plates which i think we have two wooden gears another one of these which pain in the bum and some thin slabs Thin slabs. What's a thin a slab inside of the manual chopping block, and in, uh, inside of the the chopping block. Okay. Interesting. Was that that it? Okay. So two wooden gears. That 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 that. Okay. Let's get that together. Okay. We can make the gearbox. We are just running through these challenges today. These advancements, whatever the heck they're called. Grinding your gears. Okay. Cool. So that means now that we can. I think before we had to have. The machine or whatever it was right next to like the water wheel or whatever we were using but if we just come around here i think and put block here and there's so much stuff in here there's just there's just things to collect everywhere it's good but it's also kind of annoying All right so if we put this down here and I cannot tell if that's facing it or not it doesn't look like it so um Get out of my face, this is what I mean, just stuff everywhere. Okay, we need to make a little path over here. Right, right through here. Should've got our shovel up, that's right. Look guys, we're eating eggs. How cool is that? Um, anywho, I think we gotta right click on this, change it around. Shift right click. 
Okay. So, not too bad. Let's just move around here and try and shift on it. There we go. That's the side it has to be. And then we can connect axles to any of the other sides, I think. It just looks like a wooden block. It's kind of annoying. Uh, but that's all right, guys. Right, so what is next on the list, guys? We should, we should just keep cracking on with this mechanical power stuff. Come on, help me out of here. Help me out. Um, right, so what is next on the list, guys? It is uh, craft a turntable. Connect the bottom with mechanical power and place a block on top to begin shaping. I don't know what that does. Bucket list. Oh my goodness, we're going to be able to get a bucket. Guys, a bucket. It's going to be the greatest day of our lives. An absolutely fantastic day. Okay, guys, not long now. We just need to make four of these to make the gear and then all right we got these plates pick that one up all right and now we can go in here and make this that and we should be able to make this yes here we go turntable oh yeah okay right so let's go down and check out this gearbox actually because i think we can take a output out of any side of this gearbox and turntable for gig to make some stuff so if we put you here whoa the different settings there okay cool let's quickly i hear a spider but we'll just ignore him right now that is that is not what i wanted to do put that there okay so this should be powering this now which it looks like it is well not necessarily this just looks like it's piston to be honest but um let's see what we can use this to make so we can put all sorts of things in here and make a clay bucket but unflyed oh i see and that will change the shape of it okay so if we get the unfired clay barrel extension put that in here we should get the bucket okay and to get this okay we just need six clay like that okay that's what i'm gonna go do guys that, that's what we want we definitely want that clay bucket and then we can put it in the smelter and, and the furnace i think and then we should have a bucket and oh my goodness we can move actual water sources around it's gonna be really awesome i've never been this excited for a bucket in my life okay guys we should be able to stick this barrel down on the turntable and it spin or do something i'm not sure oh actually i had settings on it let's just check turntable it doesn't say what setting to have it on i don't know what the settings do to be honest but we'll just leave it on the no one shut up spider we do not want to hear from you all right let's just put you on here and then hey hmm so that didn't work that's for damn sure guys let's pick that back up and did we pick it back up let's hope so that it didn't break it didn't break did that break it guys i am i am there it is okay i was like what is going on here so i think we need to place this on a different angle like facing this way so if we get the turntable and place it this way no okay maybe maybe that's what we need the gearbox for so we can make this go upward if you guys know what i mean but that's just gonna break it isn't it come on it's getting ridiculous now guys on the top like that then we can put the turntable on top maybe that's what we need it to do is that right let's 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 hope guys we only hope is there like a different thing in here yeah it's definitely turned on oh i can hear it making noise it's definitely working there we go guys get that off can we can we pick that up please give me the bucket oh i'm so excited guys Never ever, like I just said, have I been so excited to get a bucket in Minecraft. Like, normally uh, you, you've got a, a bucket in your first episode of Minecraft, but uh, in the first like hour or so, but right now, it's taken us, um, I don't know, a very long time. Right, so we need to take these out. Uh, do we need to put this, I bet we need to put this in thing that I've destroyed by accident. It's not in here anywhere, is it? <laughs> Okay, I do not want to put torches in. I don't know why that was going on, because I was right-clicking with the thing. Okay, so I need that, I think, to... Hang on a second, guys. Right-click here. We want the bucket, which is here. That, if we put it in here. Yes, it needs to go in the kiln. I've broken again. Okay, that's not too hard. 
that's that's easy. I can make that right this minute, I think. So let's just grab some cobblestone because we only got a couple there. Go in here, we should be able to get a slab. Too much stuff in my inventory. And then the slab goes here. And where do all the clay go there? Clay kill. Cool. All right, let's try not to break this one. Let's put this back on here. Yeah, that's not too difficult. Now we just gotta wait a few seconds. Should be getting that back in here. Any second now. Come on. Oh, that had to cook the kiln first. Now it's gonna cook the thing. Okay. Right, I see. Let's go. Come on. Ready. Set. And. Nope, not quite. And. And there we go, guys. I love this area. You can't get the bucket out, but it looks like it's there. Okay, is this a one use thing? I'll be sad if it is. But what we can do now is move our farm up here so we don't have to run down there every time. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna I'm gonna build it over here, I think, somewhere. Just uh yeah, this this village doesn't have any villages left in it, I don't think. Okay, what's next guys? What comes after that? We've done that. Oh my goodness. They're just chugging through this, so I guess it is this. That, that's what we gotta craft next alrighty guys it's time to go pick up our scary book over here that should be at full power now I've, I've left it here for a couple of episodes haven't I have that whoa I mean I think one of those guys spawned here but he despawned by the looks of it so pretty good the, out of the way continue getting a uh... Right, so we got this book. Let's get away from that thing. That thing is terrifying. Seems like it spawned one of those shogget things over there, because they're the ones that leave all that stuff on the ground. So that's absolutely terrifying. Let's hope that is uh, it happens while we have. Yes, five thousand PE. Okay, we are about to do a ceremony, guys. So if we just run through here, here's our little ceremony thing. We need to make the luminous crafting table. So we got this reinforced slate. I had to go and do some of that sacrificing stuff. The the mod that I really don't like. It's dumb, but I'm sure there's a better way to do things. And I'll probably look that up in the future. But I had to use my little sacrificial dagger to do that. Right, we needed two pieces of marble, which I think go there and there. Is that right, guys? And then more aquamarine, which I have here. Here, 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 and right there, in those corners there. And then in the middle was a crafting table. So I think that's it guys. Let's uh let's let's make this luminous crafting table. Oh, I did it wrong. Was to shift right click the altar, I think. Okay, I really hope this doesn't do anything too savage. Whoa. Guys, guys, look at it. Oh, you guys. Welcome to age two. Age two. Oh, yeah, that's wicked. Fireworks, all sorts of things. Right, we can have a look at the new challenges in a second. So that's pretty exciting, guys. Don't know what this does. I'm going to put it down on the ground for now. Let's, um, let's just put it here so we can look at it. Okay. Click it. Okay. Don't know what this is. Not a clue, but that's all right, guys. We will figure that mod out another time. Let's hit Z and have a whoa. Okay, cool. We have a load of new challenges. Tinkers. Oh, also a mod that I am really not fond of. It's because I don't really know how it works. So hopefully this mod pack will teach me how it works better. Because I always just make like the most budget thing I can. Because I can't be bothered. But you know what? That's um. We we will get into it. So we've got under under the sea lantern that's that's pretty awesome okay so we've got lots of stuff going on here guys i was hoping there'd be something here for some new tools well obviously that's takers so we can start getting some, some better tools in the next episode anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this episode if you did please leave a like and i got a bucket so that's awesome i'll see you guys in the next one oh no no come back here yes bucket